and we're up to number three. Number three is another one of those just hilarious sequences. They all are, but this one was just slightly funnier than the one previously. And of course, this one is the introduction to Mr. Pokelope. Mr. Pokelope is the most awesome name for a turtle that you could possibly come up with. But what made it so funny was the dialogue between Shigor and Dr. Lobato. Now, most sequences in the game with Dr. Lobato really steal the game. They're just hilarious. I mean, you could just tell that the guys at, at uh, Double Fine were really good at writing mad scientist dialogue. But it was just so funny hearing the two of them banter on about, you know, he, here he was threatening Shigor with, with basically what he wanted to get done. And he was just teasing and taunting her. And she was just slow, you know, screaming the whole time. It was hilarious. And you could just tell that, no, this was not an evil person, Shigor. She was just basically being manipulated. And it was just hilarious to watch what they were doing, that poor turtle. And just so you know, they actually sell on Double Fine's website a, a onesie for infants uh, with Mr. Pokelove on it. I mean, isn't that the most adorable thing you've ever seen in your life? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But that's why it's number three. Worthless! These brains are worthless, Shigo! <laughs> just like the one in your head! No, no! They're nice! They're, they're nice brains, Dr. Lobato! Really? They're too nice! They won't fight! I need killers! I need angry brains! I squeeze them! I poke them! I twist them! What do I have to do to make them fight? <laughs> Maybe I should try my drill. I'm not gonna bring you any more brains if you're gonna be so mean to them! No matter what I do? No. No matter... what? Not even if I... No, don't! Oh, not even if I cook you a little... Doctor, no! A little turtle soup? Nice hot turtle soup. Mm -hmm. Nothing better on a cold night like this than some boiling hot soup. You leave Mr. Pokey open! Oh, okay. <laughs> you sure? No! I mean, yes! <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, why don't I just go ahead and heat you up a cup? It's made of turtles! Turtles that you love! Isn't that right, Mr. Pokey Love? <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, maybe I'll just make some for myself. Bring me a good brain, Shigo, or Mr. Pokey Loop becomes Mr. Smokey Loop. <laughs> you're a dentist, you have to learn to have a sense of humor, you know. It helps to calm the patients down. And we're up to number two. I don't know really how to set this one up except to show you just this image. Yeah. Back in uh, two, uh, 1996, 1997, I was a huge conspiracy theory fan. I loved watching documentaries about conspiracy theories. I loved hearing this stuff right on. This, I think, was the culmination of that. The Milkman level. And almost everything in the Milkman level was absolutely hilarious. They spent the whole level setting up the Milkman. Who is this Milkman? Just the object of this insane guy's completely, absolutely idiotic conspiracy theory fantasies, everything revolves around this milkman. When you finally, you know, you, you finally see at the very end, you release him, and then you see this sequence. I mean, really, I, 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 I just, I, the di you gotta, you gotta hear it for yourselves. That's why it's number two. What? I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. And the sea shall run white with his rage. Oh. 
I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Boyd? Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? Well, here we are, the number one cutscene. And after replaying this game recently, there was no question that this was going to be the number one. And it is the point of no return cutscene. I like it. It's a long, it's a long sequence, but it works on many levels because you basically have different things for different people that they would absolutely just love. Um, it's it it's just basically you keep getting. It's just one big sneeze joke in the end when you think about it but also it's kind of adorable in the same sense um, you've got the heartwarming bits to it you've got the slapstick hilarious bits to it and in the end there's just one big payoff with the, which is a big explosion I'm not gonna give away specific dialogue and stuff like that I will say that I really like how it was a long drawn out kind of you put one layer of humor on top of another layer of humor on top of another layer of humor and then one big bang at the end really made for an awesome punchline. I liked it a lot. I thought it was the best cutscene in the game, and that is why it is number one. Take Check it out. Recently, the rights to Psychonauts has come back to Tim Schafer. While it was an initial disappointment with its physical release, it has become a successful game with the popularity of digital distribution channels like Xbox Live and Steam, as word of mouth has brought a lot of new people to play this funny game. Coach Oleander's gonna burn. At least he never got inside your brain. It's gonna take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> well, psy cadet, you mean. Hey, the psychonauts should be so lucky to get someone like Raz. The brain he's got in there is, is one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door! <gasps> Oleander. You! You took all my friends' brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And you kidnapped my girlfriend. Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. Back home, I had to clean up after the elephants, so trust me. I know how to take care of this ugly little pile of... Kids, let the grown-ups handle this. You tall people! Sasha! We get to kill him too! Uh, well, it's official. The genius is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. Uh-oh, this looks bad. Ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. Oh, here's what my poor flowers need. A little water. Oh, no, I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. Long time no see. Oh, Mr. Orderly. <laughs> I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax. The asylum's closed. We can all go home. Leave? Here? Yeah, this place is for crazy people. And I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. You know... Maybe it is time for us all to move on. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand?
The milkman has completed his route. You guys want to split a cab? And the crib wasn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um, I can hear that. I know. Surrender never! Psychonauts have a word for people who turn on their own. Ha! I don't need the Psychonauts anymore. I'm making my own army. Got a word for that? Yeah. Gesundheit! Huh? Ah! 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 Wow. Wow. It was my fight! I was ready for that one! Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, you'd be surprised, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra credit exams. I beat the coach once already, and I can do it again. Darling, that was just a remote projection of the coach. He wasn't as strong as he would be if he were to appear in the real world. TV? <laughs> TV? Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Alone at last, eh, Rasputin? Glad you're finally picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain! Two can play that game. Yeah, but only one can win. <laughs> we were simple folk. Nothing of your ways And you walked in town And things began to change First we wanted you to leave It was all too much to take But then your magic reached us Oh yeah, make no mistake Pop up your hero Coming to save us all You never judged us Taught us to stand up tall Pop culture hero Taught us to be as one After the prequels Feeling as begun 